What do you think? I know what I think. I bet he did. He's going to pod you too. Surprised they didn't take you with them. Now you throw shade and no teachers around. So Sahila is a Muslim and she believes very strongly in her religion and this is kind of what causes all the tensions between all the peoples. It creates like this foundation of fear which opens the play and then that then like develops. Um, Melina's character, although is a very strong character, she's almost using word vomit throughout the whole show. Like she doesn't, although she's saying all these nasty mean comments towards people, she doesn't actually process them in her brain before they come out of her mouth. And throughout the whole show, her main focus is just try to get out of what she started. She doesn't want to be in the position that she's in anymore. Um, my character is Rachel. I think she's quite a complicated character in the fact that, like Melina's character, she does say a lot of strong things, but it doesn't present herself as having strength. Like, everything she says, she's acting out of fear throughout, and it develops as it goes on. So by the end, she becomes actually really nasty, very racist towards the Hyla. And it's just, again, like with everybody, it's the fear in the room and how we all just like, it all just bubbles up to the point where... You can't really close any more doors, can you really? <laughs> All right, yeah, Samuel is basically quite an odd character. Uh, he's basically a bit of an outcast in the sense uh, due to him speaking Klingon, which is uh, a language from Star Trek. Uh, he's a huge Star Trek fan, as is, and he incorporates that into his character in the sense of he develops himself due to like kind of emotional fear in a sense. I think the backstory that I created for him was he was bullied a lot and the only way that he felt he could express himself is with Klingon because it's quite a harsh language but actually he could be saying quite lovely things but sound very threatening. Trying to learn Klingon was definitely a challenge because it was, I kept on finding myself that I was trying to pronounce the English in the words which completely just destroyed getting it so I kind of had to completely erase my memory of what I'd known for language and kind of just go solely into Klingon and how it would be spoken, really, in a sense. A lot of hours of YouTube lessons. <laughs> yeah, YouTube helps a lot, yeah. Uh, so, Olive is, she's, she's kind of tethered to Samuel because she's his translator, so everything that Samuel says, he can't convey to anyone else without her to interpret it for him. So, I think that kind of means she loses her own voice in some respects because she's constantly conveying what Samuel's thinking, and I think a lot of something that I think Olive has to come to terms with in the play is finding her own opinion and deciding what she actually thinks about things because quite often she just gets lost in this sort of limbo between translating Samuel's thoughts and then trying to think her own things. Uh, personally I have a very extreme character. Um, it, it fits into the tie a bit, like, I mean it's all these combination of different personalities throughout the whole thing, like the character I play Darren is constantly throughout the whole thing at such war, like in a war basically with Sahila and um, I think having these sort of strong personalities really gives away the sort of extremism which is the whole thing about, I guess. What's Jamal done? You don't know if he's done anything! You don't know he hasn't! Or what he's gonna do! How could anyone possibly know that? Well, police obviously think they know! Cow! I'm talking about that! 